Today I have a box from Parts Express. What's inside? Let's get out the folding utility knife and find out. Well, here we go, my friends. It's a 300 watt subwoofer plate amplifier. Now, at the time of this video, the SPA 300-D sells for about $170 with free shipping. With the possibility of more tariffs and such, your mileage, aka price, may vary. Now, if you're interested in seeing other plate amplifiers tested, check out links in the video description as I've tested several models, as well as home audio subwoofers, including models from Dayton Audio. And yes, my friends, I struggle with these big heavy boxes and break my back on the daily just for you. Now back to the lecture at hand, let's unbox the 300 watt Class D SPA 300-D from Dayton Audio. First thing we see in the box is the owner's manual with connection instructions, specifications, and all that stuff that most of you probably aren't going to read anyway. Also, a Dayton Audio brochure displaying some of their large catalog of audio offerings, all in glossy, fold-out goodness. The detachable power cord is approximately 6 feet in length, uses a standard 2 prong US outlet on one end and the IEC connection on the other. And for the star of the show, the SPA 3000-D subwoofer plate amplifier in 4K UHD goodness. These switches are not for hydraulics, my friends. They are to enhance your audio experience. Knobs all to the right. Well, not really, but let's see what these switches and knobs are for. First, we have the power LED. Red is standby, blue means on and active. USB port provides either slow charging for USB-enabled devices or gives the amp wireless capability with the addition of the Wavelink WLS adapters. On to the knobs, first up the volume, which affects the output of the amplifier. Then we have the frequency adjustment from 40 Hz to 200 Hz. Also a switch for phase either 0 or 180 degrees. Switch for always on, auto on with signal sensing or off. Bass boost for 6 dB of boost at 30 Hz or off. RCA inputs from source with single input LFE capability. Moving further down, we have the voltage switch from 120 to 240 volts. Maybe, we'll discuss that later. The main power rocker switch. Also the IEC two-prong power outlet to use with that detachable power cord we showed earlier. On to the features and specs. 300 watts RMS output at 4 ohms. Switchable 6 dB at 30 hertz base boost. Class D output stage. Variable gain and crossover. Manual and auto on off, switchable 12240 input voltage, 2.2 pounds, and a five year warranty. Now, before we go any further, you know what we have to do. We have it connected up, we have it connected to our source, we're going to power it on, and then we're going to connect it to the amplifier dyno so we can find out what the true output power of this quote unquote 300 watt amplifier is. Let's fire up the SMD to more engineering amplifier dyno. If you haven't seen these tests before, on the left, the power output in watts. In the middle, the ohm load. On the right is the voltage of the dyno, but you can disregard that because we have the dyno connected to a battery bank, while the subwoofer plate amp is connected to a 120 volt dedicated outlet. First up, we're going to try 8 ohms. This amp does not have any ratings provided 8 ohms. We're going to try it here first. 40 hertz track certified takes us to 1% distortion, and we get 155 watts. You can see the scope there for those who like to watch the scope. We've added that to our videos. Hope you guys like it. Dynamic track sends a pulse tone, in this case 40 hertz, into the amplifier to check out the dynamic capability. And you can see 210 watts into 8 ohms. Next up, we're going to try 4 ohms where it's rated 300 watts at 1.5% THD. Now we're running up to 1%. Let's see what we get certified here. Can we get to 300? Oh, so close, but not there. 276 certified to 1% distortion. Now, in this case, we're going to test it also to clipping. See if we can get that 300 watts up to clipping. Here we go. Can we get it? Oh, so close. 290, about 3% shy of the rated power. But what about dynamic? We send that pulse track into the amp. We easily get the 300. You can see well up into the upper 300s. I'm showing 375 at 4 ohms with the dynamic burst, and we got 384 jumped up right at the end. Here are all the results of all the tests I showed, the 8 ohm and 4 ohm tests. Also, later in the video, very end, I will show 2.6 ohms. If you want to stay tuned for that, make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video. 
The internals are exposed unlike some of the other Dayton plate amps, showing off the Class D almost 300 watts of subwoofer power. As we pan along the board here and take a closer look, we'll see the caps for the rails are 1500 microfarad 80 volt, and the company is Samxon, or Samzon, not sure how you say that. Now the other interesting part is the caps for the power supply are 200 volt 330 microfarad. What about that 240 volt switch? This is not a Mickey Mouse program! Running 240 volts through a 200 volt cap may end up like this. Now taking a closer look at the power supply transistors, we have a couple of True Semi TSA 20N50MR in-channel MOSFETs at 20 amp 500 volts. Unfortunately, the output transistors are hidden under the board. Anyone knows what they are? Please enlighten us in the comments below. Now, other than the amp dyno test and finding out how much power the amplifier puts out, what does everybody really want to see? Well, of course, they want to see the amplifier hooked up to a speaker, in this case, a JL Audio 10W7 subwoofer for a car, which we're going to use as an example for a home subwoofer today. Many in the DIY community do this, and this is why they sell these plate amplifiers separately, so you can decide which subwoofer you want to use, which box do you want to design and build your own, do you want to have a prefab one, do you want to use an old one and just replace the amp, all kind of options you have with the SPA300-D Let's find out if it bumped though. Are you ready? First up, I wanted to try to power it on and see how quick it turns on auto. And unfortunately, the sound clip here was lost with the video. But once you flip it to auto and send it a signal, it pretty much comes on immediately. But I did notice a very slim thump to the sub. So I tried it again and again, the audio didn't record here. But just a very slight thump to the sub was noticed. But not too bad overall. Now I'm going to do several tests with music and you may notice some rattling. It's the table this was sitting on, unfortunately, but man, it was putting out some great bass. I was really happy with the output. Take a listen. the AMM1 hooked up so we can see what the true power going to this JL10W7 from the Dayton Audio SPA 300. Let's do some three kinds of bass. What do you say? the woofer test. Some may think I'm a mind reader, but in all honesty, I just pay attention to the comments. This Dayton Audio Sub-1500, which is a 15-inch powered subwoofer, is stated to include a 150-watt amp, but our tests show it's more like 70 watts. You can check out links in the comments below. But I wanted to swap out the amps and try the 300-watt model in the enclosure, but unfortunately the plate sizes were different. No problem. I'll just connect the wiring and put the 70 watt plate back in to seal the big hole in the back. Is it worth the upgrade? Well, let's try and find out. Now for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna run the speaker wire through the port and connect it externally to the 300 watt plate amp. All right, we have the 300 watt Dayton Audio plate amplifier hooked up to the 15 inch Dayton Audio subwoofer. That supposedly comes with a 150 watt amp, which is really a 75 watt amp, which I've shown before. 
So let's find out if this is the amp that they really should have included in this. Now, obviously the price would have to almost double because this amp is 170 ish dollars by itself. And the full box with the amp, I think of this is under $300. So they would definitely have to jack the price up, but let's see how this 15 inch sub handles the 300 watt amp. What do you say? Now it's pretty obvious this is no 10W7, even though it's a 15 inch sub. Let's try out though the song that's got the lower bass in it, the bass I Love You. Let's see if we can get it to flex some. So I don't want to push it too hard because I can already tell or already smell. <laughs> There's definitely, uh, this woofer doesn't want to handle 300 watts. So let's try the woofer test just to see what it looks like. Not a worthwhile update in my opinion. Now let's move on to the pros and cons. First up, the good stuff. It's relatively inexpensive at around 170 bucks. USB is for wireless adapter. It has auto on and off. Has a 6 dB selectable bass boost. 120 volt, 240 volt capable. Not sure about that due to the 200 volt caps. And it has a five year warranty, which is amazing. Things that could be better. Almost did rated power, but didn't quite get there. There's no high level inputs. That's important for those who are needing high level inputs. Also, the phase is not variable. It's either zero or 180. And it doesn't have a true LFE input. In other words, a crossover is set to 200 hertz. You cannot disable it. Overall, I was happy with the SPA 300-D from Dayton Audio. This was not sent to me. I did purchase it from Parts Express. Although that doesn't matter. I do like to disclose either way. But I thank you guys as always for watching. Make sure you support me at patreon.com slash old school stereo. But stick around. We're going to try this thing out at lower ohms. First up, 2.6 ohms. It's not rated, but we're going to try it. Here we go. Certified test to 1% distortion. Can we get that 300? Yes, we can. 327, 2.67 ohms. That's to 1% distortion. Now, we did not run the uncertified test because we didn't think the amp would actually like that test. So let's do dynamic and check this out. 520 watts dynamically at 2.67. But we're not done yet, my friends. We're gonna try two ohms, but we're only gonna do it dynamic. So let's send that dynamic pulse track at two ohms. What can we get? Are you ready? Here we go. 566, 627, 651, it keeps going up. Can we get more than 651? No, it's gonna stop at 651. Thanks as always for watching. Make sure you subscribe, smash me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Till next time, Big D, I'm out of here.